everybody. My name is Sandra Samlafo. Welcome to Youth Bridge Television. We all know the December 17th referendum, which is to pave way for political parties to be involved in the local level elections, has been the loudest and the most pressing issue making news in Ghana every day. With opposing views, we do not even know if the youth are aware of the issues involved. Meanwhile, Majority of the youth will be voting in the referendum without understanding and knowing why they are voting. So, what do you think? My concern about this whole referendum is about the fact that various political parties here in Ghana have come out to state different positions on this particular referendum. And so here lies my question. Are these people going to vote based on party lines? So even if they are going to vote on party lines, looking at how polarized our system is, my issue or my concern has to do with the quality of their choice. Because if the person is going to vote a yes or a no and doesn't understand what the yes or no is, doesn't know the issues, what's the, what's, what's the reasoning behind even vote? Am I going to just vote because my party says I should vote no or yes? All right, so we will find out for ourselves. What is a referendum, madam? Uh, I know it's a vote. For, for us to vote about something. To be honest, many she found. I've not heard anything about that. Referendum means that you have to vote for us. It means that you have to vote for us. A referendum, I know a referendum is like a yes or no vote. The idea I have about referendum is it's a general vote by the electorate. Referendum is basically trying to get the opinion and views of the citizen of a particular state to be able to carry out any decision that the government wants to undertake. It seeks to give the people the opportunity to vote on issues, you know, to determine whether they want something or not. Have you heard anything about the upcoming referendum? No. And do you? Idea. Not at all. I really don't know much about the upcoming referendum. I just know that there is a yes or no referendum that is going about. Not at all. <laughs> Tell me, would you vote? <laughs> no. Actually, I don't have a vote. I'm not voting. Why? Well, like I said, like I have less knowledge about it and I don't really know those who are contesting and all that. So I don't know who I'll be voting for or which. Nah. My my emergency 2020 crime in Twaba until Nadi Omobe 17th of next month in Kadia Wuyame. If no educator like into detail what the referendum is about or what they are going to do, we just heard there is a yes or no referendum going around. We have come to the end of this interaction in determining the extent to which the youth understand what the referendum is all about. And my problem again here is that. These are the youth who form about 70% of the country's population. And here's the case, they don't really know what a referendum is. But remember, this referendum will require a meaningful participation of these youth. But here's the case, they don't really understand. Looking at what we've all seen, it's so evident that the youth don't even understand what the issues are when in the, with regards to the upcoming election. So our stance, our ask, our ask at YBF is that we first defer the election dates to a later date that's going to be agreed upon. Then whilst we've deferred that date, we intensify the current education that's going on. Because even though education is going on, it hasn't really gotten to the grassroots where people will understand what, they are, what the issues are for them to have an informed decision to vote come December 17th. So our stand again is defer the election and intensify and deepen the education that's ongoing. Thank you very much for staying with us.